Welcome to my EdTech Training Center. This server is a safe and instructional environment where teachers and administrators can practice playing Minecraft so that they have a better understanding of the game and learn how it can be integrated into an educational setting. So we are currently at the harbor, specifically the port, and at the top of this hill is my EdTech Training Center. Let's go ahead and take this minecart to the top. The first building we will visit is the John Dewey Complex. I plan to name all of my buildings after influential people, past and present, in education. But first I need to get my dog so we can tag along during the tour. Now we are at the John Dewey Complex. The first room I would like to show you is the Kitchen Crafting Center. I have stockpiled a whole bunch of food so that teachers can practice making food with the furnaces. Next is the swimming pool area, followed by the Combat Training Center. I have stocked up a whole bunch of armor, weapons, and even enchanted books. This room was designed for two teams, one starting from this side and the other team on the other side. You can practice defending yourself from grievers who might enter your server. You can also place an item at the top of the stairs and see which team gets it first. Now onto the crafting training center, which I believe is the most important room. You have enchanted tables and the basic crafting tables where teachers can practice creating weapons, tools, and other items. Let's go to the second floor of the complex, which is the Archery Training Center. In here, there is a supply room stockpiled with arrows, bows, and materials to make these weapons. I have placed markers on the floor to show the distance of where you are shooting at and also two targets so that you can have competitions going on. Next is the teacher's lounge, which has two entrances. Here's the pool table. A couch. A bookshelf. And a fish tank. And my favorite, the two arcade machines. As you can see, there is no functionality in this room, but it's still cool to have. Next is the sleeping quarters, where you will find 16 beds. Teachers will train in survival mode, so it is good to have them sleep through the night and skip to the morning. Now let's go upstairs to the rooftop garden. As you can see, you can actually walk over to the other building, but we will take the minecart over. This is the Jean Piaget complex. We are currently in the third floor, the hostel mob training center. I have chest full of weapons and also a chest full of hostile mob eggs. If you go outside, you will find a garden-like area where you can spawn mobs and practice defending yourself. Let's head over to the second floor of the Jean Piaget complex where you will find the minecart and rail training center. This area contains exhibits that show how minecarts and rails can be used and their capabilities. The first floor contains a similar training area called the Redstone Training Center. It also contains small exhibits that 
demonstrates different uses of redstone and their capabilities and limitations. Now let's head over to the mining center. This is where teachers can practice mining for different stones. Next to the mining center is the Maria Montessori guest house. The first room is the sleeping quarters. I created this guest house so that visitors don't always have to go back to the John Dewey complex. The second room contains chests full of raw materials that you can use to craft and cook. There are also jukeboxes where you can play music. Here are the furnaces. Following the guest house is the farming area. The farming training center is named after Margaret Bencroft, a pioneer in special education. Teachers can practice planting, growing, and harvesting crops. There are also different livestock enclosures. Teachers can practice domesticating and breeding livestock in enclosures. Next, I created a stable for tame horses. I used pistons to enclose the horses from the grazing area. Finally, we have different areas in this world that provide examples of how Minecraft has actually been integrated into curriculum. Here is a project that 4th graders created for their science unit. They had to create a plate tectonic boundary diagram and a volcano diagram. They explained how the two are connected through a video recording. So that's about it. Thanks for visiting my EdTech Training Center.